rice is a staple food for 4.5 billion people. Yet, rice cultivation has been practiced in much the same way for thousands of years. So, what's the problem? Well, a few things. Rice cultivation takes up to 30% of freshwater resources and contributes 12% of global emissions of methane gas, a huge contributor to the greenhouse effect. With our ever-increasing demand for rice, we need to address these problems urgently. Let's meet RISE, a company with a solution that's making a difference in the world. My name is Virastanto. I am the country head for rice in Indonesia. RISE's goal is to help thousands of smallholding farmers through education and new techniques, such as alternate wetting and drying, direct seeded rice, as well as through the introduction of more effective agrochemicals that target specific soil bacteria. By doing alternate wetting and drying, farmers are able to reduce costs of the irrigation water usage. And it ensures that the paddy fields are not waterlogged all the time, so it helps reduce water use in that sense. Bacteria in the water has less chance of emitting methane gas. Also, good quality agrochemical is being introduced to the farmer to control pest disease with better efficacy. I met with one of the farmers benefiting from the work Rice is doing. Nama saya Heruman, sebagai ketua kelompok tani Mekar Muda, kami petani yang bermitra, alhamdulillah ada peningkatan produksi. Dengan menggunakan sistem basah kering, yang pertama kan hama agak berkurang, terus yang kedua juga meningkatkan produksi sekitar 20%. Like. So, it's good news for farmers, but how about the quality of the rice they're producing? Let's meet the man who buys from the farms. Nama saya Eng. Saya di sini uh, mempunyai profesi membeli gabah dari petani. Saya lebih senang membeli gabah dari petani rice. Rice itu uh, mensupport petani dengan uh, pupuk dan obat-obatan yang kualitasnya bagus sehingga hasil panen mereka sendiri jauh lebih bagus. Ketika diproses menjadi beras, itu berasnya sangat baik dan harga jual di pasarnya jauh lebih baik. And so the farmers win, the environment wins, and with the better quality rice, the end consumers win. It looks like everyone wins. Rice has resulted in the transformation of 2,500 hectares of paddy fields in Indonesia and Vietnam. And not only that, the farmers have also seen a benefit. They have gotten an 8-10% to reduction in costs, and they've also seen um, a 30% increase in profit margins. Small wonder then that Rise has been selected to make the SL25 list, a list of 25 outstanding examples of solutions that embody the values of steward leadership. So steward leadership is the genuine desire and persistence to create a collective better future for society, environment, future generations and other stakeholders. The SL25 recognises projects that demonstrate steward leadership excellence. So what this means is that it would have to drive financially viable outcomes through addressing social and environmental problems. At the same time, we are also able to work together with farmers to provide food security for the country of Indonesia.